want to talk to you about bonds. The kind of bonds you may purchase from a government or corporation. Uh, let me just get right into it. I won't annoy you too much. I'll try not to. Um, I want to first talk about whether, um, what happens actually, uh, if you purchase a bond for its par value and that actually also e equals the redemption value. Okay, so when it comes to bonds, um, notice uh, the following. Notice that if the face value is equal to the redemption value, which is equal to the price, which usually I'll just call P, let's set this up real quick. Let's set this up. Okay, so then, what does this say? This says that P, uh, well, they're all equal to the same thing. Let me just write this way. This says that F, the face value, is equal to, these are my annual coupons. Okay, let's just say that they're annual. And I don't care how many years it is or periods. Let's say N periods uh, plus the redemption value, okay, and then discounted um, N periods. Well, this immediately says what? This immediately says 1 is equal to, well, divide everything by F, right? Is equal to R A N plus V to the N. Um, I want to say more, okay, and by the way, uh, the what they usually say is the yield rate. This bond is purchased to yield an interest rate, say, I. That's implicitly given. This is I, right? Effective, effective rate is I. Uh, then, uh, what can I say from here? Uh, this tells me that 1 is equal to, I'm just going to use a definition of the present value of an annuity immediate right here. This is R times 1 minus V to the N over I plus V to the N. Look what's going to happen here, actually. Okay, so this, uh, how do I want to say this? This says uh, the following, it's not going to look right. Now this says what? This says what? This says that 1 is equal to Well, let me do this actually. What the hell am I doing? Let's subtract v, to the, subtract v to the n. 1 minus v to the n is equal to r times 1 minus v to the n uh, over i. Right? So, abracadabra, I mean, it's not really magic, but I mean, divide both sides by 1 minus v to the n. Well, what do you get? Right? I mean, in other words, I mean, these, these factors are the same. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Left hand side is not zero, right? It's one. So one equals R over I. Oh, so R equals I. What did I just say then? This is actually a useful fact. If you recognize this, a lot of problems that I've seen, if they give you that you purchase a bond at the face value, and it's oftentimes redeemed uh, at the face value. By the way, if they don't say when it's, what it's redeemed at, it's automatically redeemed at the face value. So this is redemption value, face value. If you have this relationship, you know the coupon rate is the effective rate, is the yield rate. And you say, oh, well and good, why the hell does that matter? Let me give you an example of why that matters. And I'm doing it in general, okay? Now I wanna talk about duration, um, macule duration. I don't know how to say it. I don't really care, honestly. I really don't. I apologize to Macule. Macule, I think. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I want to talk about duration. And oftentimes, by the way, if they just if the question just says duration, it's meant to be MACD. Sounds like a boss, right? MACD. Whatever. Um, anyways, anyways, let's assume we have the same setup. Okay, let's assume uh, we have the same thing. So now, uh, suppose, suppose that R equals I. The coupon rate equals the interest rate. And for, for the time being, let's just assume it's annual. It would pay, coupons are paid annually, whatever, it doesn't matter. But in other words, IE, IE, uh, the price of the bond is equal to the face value of the bond is equal to the redemption value. So things may be uh, posed different ways. But these basically, as far as we can say now, these are equivalent, right? 
Uh, what can I say about Mac D? Okay, the whatever his name is, duration, um, which is equal to, by the way, we're just going to sum up um, all of these, these quantities. What are these things? It's basically like the price. Except for now, I need to involve um, some, some, I need to weight it with time value. So this is going to be uh, T, V to the T, and then whatever the payment is made in the T period, now this is a little confusing, divided by actually the present value. Present value, by the way, uh, is just V to the T, R to the T. Immediately you should be saying, by the way, um, if R and the T's are equal, then everything, those just cancel. Oftentimes they are. Uh, equal and we just get rid of them. The payments, in this case, the coupon bond, uh, coupon payments, uh, don't really matter. They end up coming out. I want to say something about this. This turns out to be something very nice when you look at a bond in this situation. So um, let's compute that. Let's compute that. Okay. So let me just get rid of this. Is the general expression? Let me get rid of it. Okay. What is this equal to for a coupon? Or sorry, for a, a bond that pays coupons. Right, um, so what this is equal to is the following. Okay, well I have, I have my coupon payments. Those are the face value times the coupon rate. And then um, what I need to do, I can't just put in the present value again because remember it's weighted by these time values, right? So what I can say though now is that this is going to be one, this is my T, V to the one plus two V squared all the way up to uh, n v to the n plus uh, now I have a uh, my face value, which is also the redemption value, right? Is c uh, n n v to the n all over all over the price actually the price. So basically, just the present value uh, of a bond that pays coupons, which is equal to f r a n plus uh, F V to the N. And uh, again, I mean, we have this assumption, right? So now, uh, let me just first write down something in general. In general. Does this look familiar? If you've been studying for FM, you know exactly what that is. Okay, let me write this down now. This is now equal to um, FR, coupon payment, times, what is that thing? That's an increasing annuity immediate, like increasing annuity, immediate, n terms, n payments, okay, plus uh, f n v to the n divided by, divided by this, f r a angle n plus f v to the n. And by the way, the reason why I'm doing this right now uh, for one is because I, I see a lot of questions asking about the duration of a bond. Just write it down. This is it in general. This is always it. That could be C potentially. This may be C, whatever, but you just you just write this down and you have it, right? So now how does it relate to this case here? I want to say something even better. Even better. Alright, so now what is this equal to? This, the F's are gone. I mean, all of the face values are absolutely out of here. I mean, that is just obvious, I think. So what do we have now? This is now equal to R. What's the definition of an increasing annuity immediate? This is the present value of an annuity due, angle N, minus NV to the N over I, right? Plus NV to the N all over this business down here, which I'm going to keep the same, R A angle N, right, plus V to the N. All right, is this something nice? Is this something nice? This better freaking be something nice. Um, Well, actually, I claim, uh, by the way, I don't need to claim it. <laughs> I already basically said this. What is this equal to? What is this equal to? I claim that that's one. Let me just uh, write down why that is one. Why is that one? Uh, we're given that P equals F equals C, right? We're given that F equals F R A N plus F 
v to the n. Divide everything by f. 1 equals r a n plus v to the n. Oh, so that equals 1, right? This thing's 1. This business is the number 1, and I should have done that right here. Whatever. Okay, I'm just sort of going with it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm just doing this, right? I'm not even, doing no prep or anything, right? So that's 1. Now what? Now what? What do we know about r and i? r and i are equal. This is gone, this is gone. What do I have? If these cancel, I have negative n v to the n, and I have n v to the n. These are also gone. This is equal to, this is equal to the present value of an annuity due. That's it. That is Mac D. This, I mean, we just showed that the duration of a par value bond is the present value of an annuity due. That's what I wanted to say. All right. Tell me what you think. Um, if you've had some exposure to exam FM material, in particular bonds, I'm hoping that this was informative and helpful. So tell me what you think. Um, I've seen some questions, by the way, that this is tremendous, saves a ton of time. Ton of time. Tell me what you think. Thank you.